Hey you guys, it's me, Joel Hotz. I'm the creator of Mystery Science Theater, and I'm here with Felicia Day, who's King of Forrester, Jonah Ray, who's Jonah Heston from uh, the new Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's been an amazing year. Thank you so much. Thank you, backers, for bringing us back for uh, all new season on Netflix, and we hope you check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, but anyway, we're here to just talk about uh, Be Together during Thanksgiving and talk about the year that's gone by. Um, I was just thinking, oh yeah, we were doing, we were talking about the event, um, the premiere event we did here. We did premiere events in New York, Chicago, and LA prior to the show coming out on Netflix yeah. for the backers, and we all got to be at the Arclight, and the interesting thing is... is well, we had the uh, Los Angeles premiere of uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, at my former place of employment, the Arclight Cinema's historic Cinerama Dome, mm. uh, which I used to you know, introduce movies there, uh, and I used to make the popcorn, and I got, I got burned uh, real bad from the popcorn maker. How on, was that? Uh, the, the thing that pops the popcorn, yeah. uh, the kettle, it gets real hot. And when you're trying to quickly uh, serve popcorn to, say, a bunch of people there mm -hmm. uh, to see the new Star Wars. Uh, oh, so was a oh, so you have a Star Wars wound. Where's yes, the wound? I, uh, where is it? I mean, you sh it burned. It was, it, was, it, was, it was right here. It actually just went away a couple years ago. Really? It lasted a long time. No. Yeah, and every time I saw it, too, I went, no. Was it, was it one of the Lucas, the middle... One of Lucas ones? It was episode three. Episode three. Got yeah. you. Okay, no comment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wound uh, is healed. Yeah. The the wound other, I mean, did you have that kind of thing where you would actually, like, they'd throw to you and say, hey, can you say a few words about the movie? Did you ever have to do, like, kind of like a preamble? It, that Arclight's like a classy place, and they'll have the guys get up and talk. Did that ever yeah, happen? Yeah, I would have to do that. I would, uh, you know, go up and say, hey, thanks for coming to the Arclight. Uh, you're here to see, the, you know, uh, you're here to see Star Wars, Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. And mm -hmm. uh, and then, but, like, uh, it's you just had to basically tell them what they were about to see. I don't know. Anyone could really just look at the ticket and know what they're well, doing. Well, whenever I've gone, it's been like a guy who wants to do stand-up comedy, but it's never, it's you're just like, please stop. Yes, uh, they, it's like if you ever see anyone doing more than like saying what the movie is, yes. and if there's anything wrong with the picture, just tell somebody <laughs> that they're doing their own thing. Okay, good. Because I, I was out, like, yeah. wow, this is crazy. This guy will not stop talking. Yeah, so I found out like, the bare minimum of what to say, and I, I say that. If, if that, and then I go and take a nap while, you know, the Amityville Horror remake with Ryan Reynolds is playing. <laughs> They'll also do, like, dig in if it's a classic movie, like if it happens to be, like, you're about to see Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. Mm -hmm. An interesting note on that, yeah. and that's when I stand up and go, we need more popcorn! <laughs> Let's go! Go Let's burn yourself! Einstein, come yeah. on! No, I, it's, I, I refuse to do anything. The only time I did more is when Star Wars uh, was there, and there was... The, all the people that came to see Star Wars on opening weekend were very mean and very angry. And so I uh, I just I spoiled the movie for them while introducing it. What? You did? Yeah. Did you, did they get mad at you or matter? Or? Uh, they, they, well, I kind of, like, I, it was a vague spoiler that no one really, but I also okay. would get it wrong. I said, hey, you're about to see episode three of Star Wars. This is how you find out how Picard becomes Dark Vader. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's not a real spoiler. We got to, you know, yeah, we yeah. got to, we can't do these segments this long because we'll never get through the entire Thanksgiving. If we, if we yeah. are, like, yeah. making this much, like, material. You know what? We'll we're just having so it. much fun because we're actual friends, and we're not. We're not. <laughs> sep we're not. We're in the same room. <laughs> I'm not a hologram. Anyway, so um, this next movie is um, the day the Earth froze. It's one of my episodes. I just watched it. Really made me laugh. There's a really funny short called A Day at the Circus. I really hope you enjoy it, and well, have a happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Turkey Day. What was that? What was that noise? That was a, it was a turkey. That was a turkey? I think she has completely different Thanksgivings than the rest of us. Yeah, what do your turkeys look like? They're, uh, <coughs> they're very wide. <laughs> <laughs> That's that factory farming for you. I know, they're not antibiotic free. I'm sorry. I want all of them. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>